Hello everyone. Um, I'm going to do a video each week for the lab. I have a laptop through Park so that I can use Zoom and this particular laptop does not have a flash player. So you would click on this link to download the uh, experiment sheet. There it is. Now you're going to save that to your computer and then when you get ready, when you fill out all your answers, when you've done all your labs, there's three this week, you're going to hit that little button right there and that's how you're going to submit it. So we'll go to the first one, which is the, well, either, either one. You can click on this, run the evil Adobe Flash, and you can go from there. So now we have, let me see, I should be able to bounce back and forth. Right. Effective substrate concentration on enzyme function. Click on the TV VCR. Short overview of enzyme action. Close the window. Click on the information button. Review the information there. Close the window. Now, um, first we need to set it up. So click on the five grams. Okay, so drag the one, number two, and continue with the rest. That's pretty easy. So just gonna <coughs> drop them in. Like that. Oop. There we go. And then you hit the little button. So click the computer monitor. You're going to write in your answers and then what was the maximum rate. Because substrate level will affect enzymes because if they're all bound up, you're not going to have as much enzyme activity. So to do the pH one, you're going to go back. You're going to reset it. And then you have to adjust the pH. So tube one is at three, five, seven, nine, and 11. So you just gonna click it down. Oop, there's three, there's five, seven, uh, nine. Can this actually go? Oh, I guess it can go to 11. And then you're gonna it says click on the paper containing four grams of substrate and add it to each tube. So that guy. So that that bad boy. There you go. And uh, what will happen is um, <clears throat> the more acidic, the more basic. Yeah. So there's the lower acidity is definitely, but you see it drops off with the basic too. So fill in your table answer the question there which was the optimum and then <clears throat> I'm gonna exit out of this now this is the reason I'm making this lab okay for cellular respiration and photosynthesis so we're gonna control click right here Where is it? Oop, there we go So there it came up, uh, select a location, Missouri, there we go, hit go. You're going to pick high school science, find your book, and biology 2010. And then you go down here in the corner where it has virtual labs. So run the Adobe. <clears throat> You are setting up a snail aquarium. Explore the lab to learn what is available for your investigation. You must click on each item in the checklist. Once you are ready to move on, click procedure. I could have turned that down, but okay. So see where it lights up. Go ahead and look around. You'll make a little, there'll be a check on this list after you click on all the little parts to the lab. And then you're going to have to enter, you're going to have to click procedure, you're going to have to uh, click on the lab notebook. You must enter information in the lab notebook in order to proceed. You'll be given some of the information to enter and other information you'll have to provide. So here's the hypothesis. You can just copy it like that. Control C, enter it into the uh, box in the notebook. Uh, this is, um, yeah, on our experiment using an Elodia plant, snails, uh, 
Yeah, it'll produce carbon dioxide, load you produce oxygen. It says leave the notebook open and click the tab next to procedure one through seven to advance to step two. And then fill in the text boxes. It's gonna take you just a little bit of time. You can just copy and paste them. Right here, copy all the italicized words. The numbers, um, set up the tubes the way you want to, close the lab notebook, and then follow the instructions from there. It's pretty self-explanatory. It's gonna look something like this. Here's some snails and elodia. You're gonna go all the way through, and then you'll actually fill in your information based on your test results. It's actually a pretty cool um, experiment. I don't think it'll take you very long. Here's another one you can fill in, and then you're gonna to have to answer these questions at the end. All right, so uh, yeah, just uh, email if you have any problems and say, sorry I couldn't show this in class. I'll just do this each week for the labs.